We're here with bench coach from the Baltimore Orioles, Freddie Gonzalez. Freddie, you're a lifelong baseball man. You know, um, game has changed since you were going up. Your thoughts on, <laughs> on the changes that have come up? We talk about it in the clubhouse all the time with some of uh, Jose Hernandez who came in the big big leagues about the same time I did. He, him as a player, me as a coach and manager. And uh, it's changed. And I think some of the stuff for the good and some of the stuff I don't know. You gotta refine yeah, right? We gotta refine it a little bit. But you know what? As long as you know, I like the ten. I like the fifteen or ten or twenty second clock. I like the man on second base in the extra innings in a non playoff game. I like those things. I don't know about the pizza box bases. Uh, I think replay is good and has gotten better. And why not use technology? Um, but you know, at the end of the day, if the fans like it and it's good for the game and it, it brings. Um, people out to the game and and we get attention uh, positive attention uh, towards our game uh, I, I'm all in for it you know there's certain things that I don't like personally I, I don't like the bases I think that if you're gonna put the bases why not uh, put home plate a little bigger yeah <laughs> you know another thing that I, I can't understand for the love of life is hey batters could use uh, pine, pine salt, salt and uh, pitchers can't use the rosin right. back you yeah. know right. it, well, they can use the rosin bag, yeah. but they get carried away because we're human beings. Yeah, but you know, it it, 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 it takes out the, the little edge right. of a baseball. Right. Now, bringing Cano in, you being Cuban descent, can you un you relate to him a little bit better than, let's say, me or some? Well, I think we're, it, being Hispanic, you can relate to him. Mm -hmm. I, I'm Cuban, but I left Cuba when I was two years old in 1966. So I don't know what he has gone through. I, I do speak to him. And we do talk about the things, and also uh, Cionel Perez. Mm -hmm. You know, they just left a few years ago, and um, and, and but he is. You know, you, you you look at you listen to their stories, and you look at, you listen to the the troubles of how to get here, and, and and some some more difficult than others how how they got to the United States. But uh, uh, when we announced, uh, we we had a team meeting, and when we announced the uh, the all. Our uh, all-star participants for the 23. Yeah, he told me that you did a, a little reunion. Yeah, well, the Hyder did it, and uh, I was in the background, and it took me by surprise, right? Uh, you know, he named uh, you know Ali Rushman, you know, and they uh, and Batista, which is a no-brainer. Yeah. And, and then he said Cano. I, I, I had tears in my eyes. So did you, I, bro. You know, so I, I, I had tears. But I had stuff <laughs> that he's gone through. Right. You know, a lot of people don't realize and don't understand, and I tell that to to anybody that can listen, listen, the Cuban ball of player and the athlete are totally different than, let's say, from the Dominican Republic or the Puerto Rican. Yeah. Cuban's got to, you know, get here. Yeah. And it's not an easy road no, to get here. And then on easy. top of that, they got to perform. Right. And it's, it's not, the transition is not yeah. the easiest thing in the world. And and so when when that happened, I had tears in my eyes, not, not, not only because of what, everything you said, but also He's what, what, what a jovial guy he yeah, is, man. and he didn't even make the opening day roster. That's right. You know, and all of a sudden, you know, I don't know, three weeks into the season, a month into the season, he comes up, and he's been such a key figure for of us of our success, and uh, for um, for the players and the coaches and the managers of the, of the major <laughs> leagues to recognize that he's done a hell of a job. It's it, it, it was great. It, it, it was one great. of the good things about baseball that you can see somebody like that come here, everything is fine. Now listen, I know you got you got to go. Do you think from the beginning of your, uh, when you started playing ball to now that it's a little harder to get through the players? And I'm going to give you, tell you what I, what I think. I think right now that coaches, not you, but a lot of the coaches wouldn't want to change the, the new guys coming up because of the salary that they're making. And, you know, does that happen? Have you seen that? No, no. I think, I think that the, the players are the same. You, know, you got to build a relationship. Mm -hmm. You got to build a trust with that player. Uh, the players nowadays are, are, have more, it's more difficult because everybody has their own hitting coach, you know. More information. More information, uh, more video. Uh, but I, I, I think as far as leading young men, and uh, soon we might even say lead, lead, leading young women, uh, it's the same thing, you know, that has been, you know, 25, 30 years ago. Uh, I think when once the players know that you have their best interest, that you have their best interest, for them to be successful mm. uh, and for them to, to succeed and have a longevity in, in, uh, in the major leagues, I think it's, uh, it I, think you, I think you got them. Yep. Um, you know, once you make it about yourself and not them, then you, you have difficulties. You, you, um, 
and, and yeah, I don't know in any particular specific, you know, that you that we don't want to talk about. But um, I think overall, I'm giving you like statements, just yeah. like in general. But I, I think when you go up to a player, you approach a player, whether you know he did something wrong or did something right, and you have the genuine respect for each other, and you have they know that you're not showing, you're not doing it for yourself, right. you're doing it for them or for the team, and nobody wants to be embarrassed. That's right. Nobody wants to be embarrassed on the field. Hell, nobody wants to be embarrassed going over 25. Uh, and so, if I can help you not go over 25, be a little better. You know. Now, you know, you, the Baltimore Orioles, right now in 2023, are like the Leon Spinks. When <laughs> Spinks for Muhammad Ali, you know, sure. we're probably in the eighth round right now. You're right. And things are looking pretty good, good for, yeah. for Spinks. So, when do you start stepping on the gas and say, man, we got this? We, no. We're, we're going to move. No, that's, you know, I've had, I've had those. Uh, you remember I managed the Atlanta Braves when we got uh, you we, know? Missed, we missed the play the we missed the playoffs the last day of the season so there is no uh, stepping on the brakes you got it's a hundred no stepping on the gas uh, yeah well, step, well well stepping on the gas you never let go of the gas you know because you're you're around the corner from a couple of injuries and a six game losing streak and um, and and this game is too hard and and it is too long of a season to to back off you know you got a guy named Felix Bautista man he reminds me of Lee Smith. Yeah. You know, yeah. just the same thing kind of right. And I said, man, this guy is a clone of Lee Smith. Yeah. You know, I think that uh, Baltimore Orioles are saying, you know what the hell with the field goal? We're going for the touchdown. <laughs> well, you know, like I, I was telling uh, Chino earlier uh, in my broken Spanish is um, is getting in, right? Getting into the dance. And, yeah. and once somebody gets into the dance man, and you can pick the girl you, you want to dance yeah, with. Yeah, you, you never know what happens. That's so right. Right now we're, we're looking to play out the season and play as best we can and get into that dance and uh, hopefully pick the pretty one yeah, to get all the way. Yeah. Listen, Freddie, thanks a lot for your time and courtesy, brother. You're a class act in, inside the field, well, man, and well, outside the field. Good luck, Thank brother. you. All right.